Hello everyone and welcome to another Dragon Adventures video. In this video, I will be showing you how to get the Arcane Crystal Egg. Here's a list of things you'll need. 1. An adult Taihoa. 2. A dragon to ride. Make sure it's a decent level, one that can handle the fantasy world so you don't get one tapped by mobs. 3. Of course, the fantasy world unlocked, because you won't be able to do this without unlocking the world. That's pretty much it. Alright, let's begin. So the first mission that it will have you do is complete four world missions in the fantasy world. Now, if you've already completed them, you're going to have to wait until the missions reset the next day. But don't worry, you have six days, technically seven, to do the, uh, the whole Arcane Crystal Light quest mission. And even if you don't finish it, it will save your progress when they reset. Each world has six missions that can be completed daily. Find the egg, find chests, defeat mobs, defeat the boss, spend a set amount of time in the world, and harvest resources. I'm going to quickly complete four of these missions, and we'll continue on with the next quest mission. Alright, mission two requires you to travel to the forest shrine. The forest shrine is located behind the boss over here, on top of this mountain. This is a pretty cool little area. It's really pretty. I like what they did with the fantasy world. When you arrive at the shrine, you'll notice that there will be an interact option where you'll see a picture of a taiho and mushroom. Well, the next mission requires you to collect 60 magical spores for the forest spirits. These spores are located around the map at the base of trees. The blue trees, the pink trees, even the mushroom trees. I'll show you a few spots here. They are client-sided, so only you can see and collect them, so no one else can take them, but they also can't see them, so you have to find them yourselves. After that, go back to the shrine, because you should already have an adult Taihoa if you, you know, followed the list of things you need at the very beginning. And when you're at the shrine, you will have to sacrifice that Taihoa and the 60 shrooms you just collected into the shrine in order to summon the uh, forest spirit. When you summon the forest spirit, it essentially gives you more missions to continue and the next mission is to find its memory fragments. There will be five and I will show you the location of each memory fragment as well as the other mission which you can do essentially at the same time, destroying 20 dark vines. Now I don't want to cut anything out so that you guys can see where I have to fly for the location. Yeah, there's vines everywhere. Okay, here's the first memory. Now, if I forget certain spots, I might fly around a bit. I'm sorry about that. I do genuinely know where most of the spots are, but I kind of forget where one is. There is one down here, but most of you who have played DA before and do chest hunts would know that this area already exists. It's the secret area, quote quote, down here. <laughs> There's a couple dark vines. Technically, if you don't destroy 20 when finding all the fragments, there is an area over in the dark forest that you can essentially break more vines at, which we will be going to a little later because there is a memory fragment over there. That's the one I kind of forget. So this is memory fragment number two. Boop. Destroy these vines. And then I'm going to fly out of here. Again, I don't want to skip this because... I know sometimes when you cut a video, people get lost or don't know where you are in the world, and I don't know, I feel like this helps better in finding things when you can visually see where one is flying. Even though I guess what I could have done is just went back to start and flew to the locations from there, but if I did that, I'd have to remember where they all are. So far, so good, though. Here's another spot. They will- the memory fragments are all where the dark vines are, essentially, especially around the world. The only- Cool, kind of, I almost said quote unquote, kind of difficult one is the one in the dark forest because there's so many dark vines. I forget which tunnel it's in. I should have said that was memory fragment number three. <laughs> Sorry. I'll put the little number up for you guys. Onward to number four. If I can remember where it is, I think I know where it is. There was like a tower with vines or something. Yeah, pretty sure that's it over there. It's like in a burrow. That's what they mean by burrows, by the way. There are burrows all- burrow- blah, English. Burrows all over the map. These are the burrows they meant, just the ones with dark vines. 
It's kind of cool. They kind of look like uh, flamey vines. If you do touch them, though, you get like a, a vine status for like five seconds. That kind of injures you. Memory fragment number four. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it sucks. Onward to number five. Let's hope I can find it right away, but probably not. I'm probably going to finish the Dark Vine mission before I even finish the uh, memory mission. Okay, was it in here? No, I'm pretty sure this leads to the secret spot underground. Oh. <sighs> this kind of sucks, but the chests... Yeah, it does. The chests in the world... I know in my chest video I showed where all the chests are, but because of this update... There are now new spots, <laughs> so anyone who wasn't able to find all the chests yesterday when this whole thing started, it's because there are new locations and you probably couldn't find- I saw some people like in chat going, oh I got the chest glitch, there isn't really a glitch that chests don't spawn, it's just there's new spots now. Okay, where is this? I know it's in the dark forest, I'm sorry. Yeah, as you can see there are dark vines everywhere. Is it this one? No, I don't think so. But I think I see a chest. I do. Oh, look! A new spot. There you go. <laughs> if you can find the chests. <laughs> what, do I, what, what, what will I get out of it? Mm, eh. Coins. A material potion. I don't really care about the revival hearts, but whatever. The more the merrier. I think it's this one here. Yes, it is. Wish I would have got a mute pot. I almost never get mute pots. Memory number five. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, now that you got all the memory fragments, you would head back to the forest shrine and talk to the forest spirit. And the forest spirit will then tell you to go to the ancient runes at the highest part of the mountain, which I will fly to and show you where. Which, funny enough, is literally where we just were. So, <laughs> so we just gotta fly back. Um, but again, I'm not gonna cut so that you guys can actually see the location and follow if you need to. We onward to the ancient ruins. We're almost done by the way. This is pretty quick and easy. It's not that difficult. I can't wait to see more, like more missions that they bring into the game. So you need a key. They don't really explain it well, but it there's like a hint they give you, I forget what it says, but essentially what it's telling you to do is fight mobs until a key drops. It doesn't matter what mobs, could be any in the world. Um, it doesn't take that long, at least not for me. I've gotten the key and a couple mobs pretty quickly. So I'm gonna quickly farm a couple here, see if I can get a key. Wait, I think one of them dropped- yeah, it did. You can see I got the key. And then you just take the key over to the ruins, unlock it, and collect your egg. Boop. Into the ruins. Into the unknown. I hope that song gets stuck in your... I'm kidding. <laughs> but yes, you collect your egg. Look at that beauty. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> and just once you collect it, a little cutscene happens. It's kind of creepy, but I'm guessing with their whole quote-unquote story aspect that they want to add to the game, which I think is really cool. I'm glad they're doing. I wonder what this is going to add up to. Like, look at this. Ugh. It gives me Stranger Things vibes. I don't know why. I guess because I was watching Stranger Things, but look at that. Ew. Creepy. Creepy. Congratulations, you have finished all of the missions and are now a proud owner of an arcane crystal egg. You can complete these missions once every week. I think it resets every Saturday to get another egg. If you also noticed that when you finished the, all the quests, you received a quest token, which right now can't be used for anything, but what it's meant for is the quest shop when it releases. I'm curious to see what's going to be in there. I get a feeling I know what's going to be in there, at least some things, which will be interesting. Oh, now I'm excited. Oh, wow. I, I actually, I'm actually kind of excited. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's in that shop. But with that, I hope this video helped. Good luck, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!